So this is my buddy from the YouTube channel, Real Gang TV, who's towing me right now because I've been paddling miles offshore just to go fishing for the past year, and I finally decided to do something about it. What I decided to do is add a trolling motor to the back of my Aruba 8 SS kayak. So here's how I made it happen, guys. I took these two L brackets and measured them properly on the back of the kayak. As you can see right here, they're very sturdy. And then I turned around and took some uh, polyurethane marine sealant just to put over the holes to make sure there was no leaks or anything like that because we definitely don't want to sink out there so after that i grabbed this two by four right here this is going to be mounted to the l brackets because the motor will be sitting on this because this is the motor mount but anyways guys i went ahead and sprayed it just to make it look all good and pretty and after that i used this thompson's water seal right here which makes your wood and things like that waterproof which is really good especially because i'm going to be out in salt water with this block of wood which will probably be needing to be replaced over time but that's not anything that's too serious but anyways i'm using a 12 volt car battery and it's being charged by a solar panel charger which my grandpa gave to me and i think it's really awesome especially for being out on the water i'll leave a link in the description to that but anyways we securely seated the battery behind the seat of the kayak while also routing some wire to the front of the kayak for the 30 pound thrust trolling motor to hook up to i'm really really excited about this guys because this is my first time doing anything like this all right guys, so we got bugs out here like crazy, but anyways, we're in the water and we got enough clearance. About to drop this thing down and see what happens with it, man. Super excited about this right now. It's definitely a really awesome setup, guys. We can even stand up and troll forward. Super nice. Really, really liking it. Definitely give you a lot more perspective as far as checking out the waters and seeing what's around. Uh oh, we are not alone. We'll be using this gumdrop swim bait right here from Bowls and Poles Fishing, made by yours truly. Trout Slayer right here, guys. We're gonna throw it out. Got him. Fish on, guys. There we go. Trout Slayer right here. What'd I tell you guys? Trout Slayer at work on the gumdrop. All right, little buddy, live to fight another day. Off he goes. All right, guys, so we passed the leak test. We passed everything. Um, it works a lot better than I expected it to. Really nice setup. I can pull it up, put it back down. Um, definitely got a little bit more tweaking to do with it, but that's about it guys. 